Now this tends to happen a lot of time that we have a file which is quite treasured for us as a very important file. So we tend to put passwords and secure it. But the problem that we end up is we forget the password. Maybe for some reason that happens. So how to recover or retrieve a file which is password protected? So let's try it. So I'm going to protect this particular Excel sheet with a password and I will show you how to remove the password. I know it sounds crazy, but yes, we are going to do that. So let's try it. So I'll go to the review tab. I'll be clicking on protect sheet. So in this case, I'll be putting up a password. That's Yoda learning is the password for me. So I've just put up the password. I'll just repeat the same. Once the password is confirmed, now if you see the protection is activated and if I try to type anything, it is not going to happen. Now just for the confirmation part, I'll be saving this particular file. So I'll just go to file, save this particular sheet and I will close it. Now I'll just reopen the same file. Just let get it get updated. Just give it a minute. Now it's got updated. Now if I open the file and if I check the tools are disabled, I cannot type anything and it's still protected. So I have not clicked it anywhere yet. So I'll be closing this file. Now what is the trick to remove it? Now for this first thing, you should be able to see the extension of the file. If that's not the case, simply go to the view tab from the explorer and just go to the options that is folder option if this particular option is not visible here simply go to the control panel either by right click if you are using windows 8 or any of the above versions from the start just simply right click on the start and control panel or people with the other version simply go to start and control panel directly once you're into the control panel if the view is a bit different simply go to the right corner from the drop down simply use the option large icon it might be in category mode just change it into a large icon once you're into the large icon now there will be folder option to the left just click onto it the same panel will appear go to the view tab and in the view tab at the bottom there is an option that says hide extensions for known file type now in your case it might be turned on if it is so please turn it off so that we can see the extension so in my case i've turned it off i'll just minimize it so i could see the extension now comes the trick rename your file by using either just select press f2 from the keyboard or right click rename come to the extension and remove the extension and we will be replacing it with a zip zip that is zip file format it can be a rar or any which way so i'll be taking it with a zip so it will show you an alert that you are changing the data type simply click yes now once it is converted into a zip file format open it in my case there is an excel folder now that's what you should look out for open the excel folder in that excel there is another folder called worksheets now that's where your sheets will be stored open it open sheet 1 that is x sheet 1 xml once that is open a notepad will open with lot of tags and things if we, you any one of you people are actually using html then you will understand these tags a little bit but if not just ignore it so just go to the format option and wrap it up so that you can see it one below the other now don't have to read these entire codes just simply go to edit and find or the shortcut is control f here in the find you just have to type the word protect and do not have to type the whole thing as well just type pro and search it so if you see i got the word protect i'll just increase the font size so that it is visible 
So I'll just scroll down. So if you could see, it says sheet protection. Now, this is the tag that you have to hunt down. So from the greater than, that is an opening tag, you have to select the entire tag where it ends. From less than till greater than, just select the whole tag, delete it. As simple as that. Once the tag is deleted, simply go to file, save this notepad, close it. So as it's a zip, zip will ask you whether you want to update these changes. Yes, we wish to. So once this notepad is updated, close the zip. Now it's an updated zip file. We have to convert it back to an Excel. So again, go back to rename mode, remove the zip and just mention back XLSX. Once done, click on enter, press yes to confirm the changes. It is back to our original Excel file. Now when I open it and if I see my tools are enabled and if I go to the review tab, the password has been removed. So I believe that this was a helpful session for you people.